prospering. Health, finances, whatever it might be. This is the prosperity gospel. There's prosperity in the gospel. God wants to bless your finances. God wants to bless your health. God wants to bless. Everything the word does brings life. Life is prosperity. Prosperity is growth. Prosperity is progress, forward movement. The word is about growing us. The word gets us out of that pit. It's prosperity. The word helps us in our finances. That's prosperity. The word tells us about stewardship, how to spend our money, how to save our money, how to invest our money. That's prosperity. The word teaches us about increasing our resources. That's prosperity. Holiness is prosperity. We're not living the way the world's living, so we don't lose anything. We gain everything now. I want you to think about that tonight. So we go back into the Old Testament and you think about Hannah's situation as we learned in 1 Samuel 1. She, she gave what God gave her back to God. She prospered. She had five more children. Might be one more. God prospered her in the area she desired the most. That's the prospect. What happened in the Old Testament related to those who are faithful to God still happens to those in the New Testament who are faithful to God. Prosperity. What is it that you desire? What do you desire? Are you willing to give it back to God? Are you willing to wait on it? I was thinking this the other day and I reflected on patience. Patience. We're kingdom citizens. In the earth, we're supposed to be builders. But if we have patience, we'll never build nothing. So what do you think God works on us about? He works on our patience. Talk about this a whole lot. Patience. James says, what did you say, uh, Deacon and Trent? What, what verse and chapter do you know? You don't know, it's in James, right? James 1. Let patience have her perfect work. You remember the street verse, the street address don't save. It's actually the word that's in your heart is what saves, right? Let patience have a perfect work. Kingdom citizens, we're building something. You build it by starting at home. How do we start building? We live holy. Why are we living holy? So that we can build the kingdom on the earth through those who come through our downline. If we don't lead them the right way, they won't be able to carry what we have started because we have failed them. If we don't have patience, we'll never begin to build anything. If we are entitled, and this is where we get, because you can see it in the servants and the priests, they were, they had an entitlement mindset about themselves. Give it to me right now. And if I don't, if you don't give it to me quick enough, I'll force it and take it from you. Same mindset you see today in the church. Now, who's the church? Same mindset. Entitlement. Do we think that we are entitled to something just because we have surrendered completely to God? We're not entitled to anything other than what he promised, which was, hey, you got salvation. Everything else that comes as a result of salvation Everything else is just icing on the cake. 